This video is sponsored by Copenhagen Grooming. More about them later. What's up guys? Welcome back to Bugs Entertainment. Buzz cuts, buzz cuts, buzz cuts. In today's video, I'm gonna discuss five buzz cut styles and how they would suit you and your face. Whether you got a long face, chubby face, round and chiseled face, chubby face with no jaw, but you got a beard face, you name it, we're gonna discuss it all. There are multiple styles and they all provide you with different looks. Now, without further ado, let's get right into it. Buzz cut style number one, the full send, I've got the balls buzz cut, also known as the induction cut. Now, any of the buzz cut styles that require one length all over are the easiest and in my opinion the best styles. Here we got the man himself David Beckham rocking the induction. What he's done here is taken the guard off the trimmer and went for it. This can be rocked by anyone but the thing about any buzz cut is it accentuates the face. This buzz cut would be better suited for someone with a longer face and has more definition in the cheeks. Now don't get me wrong, this style can be worn by someone with a chubbier round face, but the thing is, the shorter the hair, the more your face shape is gonna show whether you got a chubby face or a chiseled face. Number two on the list is what people call the standard classical buzz cut, which is exactly the same as the induction cut, but more length. This is what I did in that full transformation video a couple months back getting a guard number one or three all over the head. Now, if you're struggling with a thinning head of hair, this cut will give you a thicker looking head to the point where you don't even realize you were thinning. It's super easy to maintain and gets the job done. This adds more length to the top, making it better for people with poor facial structure. Anyways, moving on to the next style, the I'm too afraid to go full buzz cut so I do this, also known as the crew cut. This cut is borderline not a buzz cut, but also is. Leaving a good amount of length on the top can be rocked by almost anyone, no matter the face shape. And if you got a receding hairline like me, this is perfect for you as the little length essentially hides your insecurities. But literally, the short length gives you that thicker looking head as well as hides your receding hairline, which is great. Sign me up. Speaking of a thinning head, I'd like to introduce this video sponsor, Copenhagen Grooming. When I heard Copenhagen Grooming launched a hair growth kit to counteract a thinning head of hair, I took that personally. It's like they knew what I was going through and blessed me from the heavens above with this new kit. Introducing the hair growth kit. The first thing that caught my eye was this guy, also known as the moon roller. This guy comes equipped with 1,140 titanium needles that when rolled on the thinning parts of your head, get that blood flow going. Now, if you guys watch my videos, you know blood flow in the head is absolutely crucial to stimulate hair growth. Next up, the activator. This serum is proven to stimulate inactive follicles and prevent them from entering the hair loss stage. So essentially the serum prevents the hair loss before it even happens, as well as reviving the follicles that are idle. And finally, this little guy, the cleanser. Pretty self-explanatory, but it's used to cleanse the moon roller before you use it. Now I've been using the hair growth kit for a couple weeks now and I don't see any reason to stop. It's literally so easy to use. First things first, cleanse the moon roller. All it takes is a couple sprays to clean the entire roller. Next up, find the spots that show thinning and roll over these spots 20 times horizontally, 20 times vertically, and 20 times both ways diagonally. It's important to apply light pressure to where you feel it, but it doesn't hurt by any means. Now you finish it all off by applying the serum on all given areas. Now remember, you use the moon roller every third day and the activator serum every day. What I do is I use mine after my showers because it needs at least eight hours to be fully absorbed into the scalp. If that's not enough to catch your attention, over 400,000 people have used the hair growth kit and it's been found on average that over 13,000 new hairs were grown alongside 89% to hair loss reduction. Now, let's get back to the video. All right, now moving on to number four on the list, the Super Swagalicious Expialidocious Buzz Cut, also known as the Buzz Cut with a Fade. Now, I'm not talking about a specific fade. We can go high fade like McGregor or a taper like I've done. It does all all the same in the end. This buzz cut adds dimension to the face, helping to add that structure to a poor face or jawline. Even if you have super short hair on the top, if you fade it, it gives you length to your face, ultimately counteracting what a regular buzz cut does, which is accentuates your face whether you have a good facial shape or not. I'm telling you, the fade just does wonders. It's, it's literally the best, but 
You got you got to hold on though. There's there's a catch with this one. The issue with this style is it takes maintenance and if you don't know how to fade yourself at home, you're going to have to see your barber pretty regularly. I'd say at least once a month. Unlike the cuts I mentioned before, they typically can be done at home, but this one might be on the pricey side. Okay, finally, I've saved the best for last, the final style, the best style you can't argue with me because you're wrong. Buzz cut times beard. If you don't have a beard, tough nogies is what I always say. But let's say you do have a beard. Do not hesitate to add this attachment to your cut. The way I see it is like this. If you have a nice cheese pizza and you have the opportunity to add chili flakes or pineapples, you're gonna do it because it adds that spice, that extra flavor. Now, if there's one thing I know, the beard combo with the buzz cut is you can't beat it. The beauty of this combo is it can be used with any of the styles mentioned before. Now remember that induction cut that isn't suited for people with poor jaw structure? Well, if you slap a beard onto that, you're practically a Greek god. The beard helps create that facial definition. If you want to rock the faded buzz cut, you can fade your beard in with that, creating a force not to be reckoned with. Anyways, that'll be it guys. I want to thank Copenhagen Grooming again for sponsoring this video. I've left their link and information in the description box down below. I hope you guys found this video enjoyable and helpful. Now, just a quick note, I want to kickstart this channel up again and it can only be done with your help. So please leave a like and comment about what you thought about the video. This is Bugs 